What is DC Rebirth? I get this comment a lot, and I'm going to explain it to you in one of our animated shorts. DC is known for doing rebirths throughout their entire line of comic books throughout multiple events that they do in their timelines. Some of these are epic, and some of them not so much, but the purpose of this is to clean up the overly convoluted continuity that is a comic book's timeline, and to give new readers a fresh jumping off point, a place to begin the tales themselves. In the 1950s, DC did this with the first retcon and the Silver Age Flash. In the 1960s, it was done with the creation of the multiverse. In the 80s, it was done through the first epic universe-ending event, the Crisis on Infinite Earths. This was the first event intended to clean up issues and create the DC superheroes that DC wanted to try and market, such as making Superman the true last son of Krypton by wiping out Supergirl from existence. She just couldn't die, no one had to know that she existed. But the problem is that this didn't fix things, so once again, in the 90s, DC brought a Zero Hour, a crisis in time, and it was intended to smooth over any outstanding issues. Then in 2006, there was the Infinite Crisis, in which Superboy Prime punched reality to once again fix issues that were created with long-standing comic book storylines. And eventually, in 2011, we had the Flashpoint, in which Flash went back in time and broke it. DC wanted to try and create a new universe where the superheroes were younger and their adventures were just beginning. You could follow Batman and Superman from the very beginning and see what turned them into the superheroes that you love. It was referred to as the New 52 and it was supposedly the best place to begin with DC Comics. But as you can imagine, in comic books things are not that simple. While the New 52 tried some questionably better tactics such as a darker approach with flawed superheroes and having less confusing family legacies such as removing all of the men that called themselves Flash and completely getting rid of the history of some of your favorite teams so that they could start all over again such as the Teen Titans, there was also some crazy outstanding problems such as how did Batman get all of his Robins within a five year span of time. With countless things being messed up by the New 52, it began to alienate classic fans but it did properly bring in the new fans. This created a problem. The New 52 wasn't a complete bust. While it is all opinion based, a lot of their experiments did pay off in strides, such as giving us stories about a powerless Superman, a creepy Batman, and a relatable Batgirl. So DC decided it was time to shake up the universe once again, and they wanted to return legacy to the DC brand. They wanted to give the classic fans their classic stories while keeping in the biggest and best things that brought in the new fans with the New 52. This was DC Rebirth. While it's not a reboot or a timeline restart, it is a creative way to bring in what people loved about the old timelines by merging it into a fresh timeline that has been created. It picks up where the New 52 left off and brings in stuff you loved. The reasons for the events happening are because a great evil removed 10 years from our superheroes' lives to make them younger and weaker, and heroes that were missing like Wally West have been brought back. Relationships are being recreated like Aquaman and Mera, and Green Arrow and Black Canary while teams have been reunited like the Titans. DC Rebirth isn't a reboot, it's a new status quo. It's what to expect from your comics for the foreseeable future. It's your legacies revived. DC Rebirth is an attempt to please the old fans and the newcomers. And that is what is DC Rebirth. It has only just begun as of this video, so I don't have much more to tell you about it, but I hope you're gonna be there for the ride with me. Don't forget to check out the other videos on the screen right now. We have quite a few animations for you to check out. And let me know, did you enjoy having some animation explain some base things for you? Because we thought about trying our animations with this instead. I'll see you guys next time right here.